Hello and welcome to another episode of Rika's Rants. Rika's Drunken Rants. I'm your host, Rika Giorgio. So, I just, I have, I'm drunk a little bit. Oh God, I gotta tell you what I'm drinking. Okay, do you see that? You see that cup of mud? That is the only thing I had to drink. I had vodka, and I had Nesquik, and I had milk. So I went from basically making a white Russian to a white trash Russian. <laughs> oh god, it tastes so bad, but the good thing is it's sweet, so I can chug it down. It's really hard to drink though, and it's going to be hard to to stomach later uh, I'm in for a rough night but tomorrow's my only day off so I figured I'd watch some shitty movies drink some shitty fucking shit and make some shitty videos but the only thing that's not shitty are you fans all 12 of you fuck my cat is here speaking of shitty things Hi. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Central Intelligence, which is ironic considering how stupid I must sound right now. Okay, so Central Intelligence. Starring Dwayne, Dwayne, is it Dwayne or Dwayne? Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, and Kevin Hart. Can I just state that while I find some Kevin Hart stand-up funny, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of seeing him in every new comedy. He does the loud, high-pitched, short thing to, I mean, you know, he's unique in, in comedians in the sense that he's a really short guy who is also black and is also ripped and can be funny. I mean, there's, you don't see Cat Williams being, you know, jacked up. Most, most black comedians are either really, really, really obese, or really, really, really fucking tall, or both. This guy is just, he looks like a, he looks like if you took Shaq and miniaturized him. It's actually pretty fucking, <laughs> oh, I'm myself laugh. Um, okay, so, this movie was just strange. In particular, The Rock. Because, while I, genuinely think that The Rock is the one of the most genuine, I said genuine twice in, in one sentence, um, nicest guys in Hollywood. He always has a big, broad smile. He always hangs out with his fans. He officiated a fucking wedding for his one of his fans one time. Like, legit. That's, that's on YouTube. That's crazy. He also plugged the movie San Andreas in the middle of the fucking ceremony, but hey, actors have to make money somehow, somehow. Um, so basically, they're both from the same high school, and Kevin Hart's character is, um, was in high school, the guy who peaks in high school, voted, you know, most likely to succeed, captain of the football team, which is funny. You know, drama class aficionado. He's the he's the most popular student in the whole school. The Rock in the, in high school plays the fat, sensitive dork that no one fucking likes. He's teased repeatedly, and in the middle of a assembly in the auditorium, uh, he was caught singing. Naked in the shower, and the bullies 
took him and threw him into the auditorium where everyone saw him. Kevin Hart, feeling bad, gave him his Letterman jacket to cover up his naked body, and he kind of escapes and, and leaves. And flash forward 20 years later, um, sorry, I just got uh, burp. Uh, sorry, train of, uh, train of thought just went out my fucking mouth. Um, 20 years later, Kevin Hart is just now an accountant. Didn't really succeed. And The Rock contacts him with a new fake name, which I'll talk about later, um, on Facebook, and to sort of wants to hang out. He's in town for the high school reunion, which Kevin Hart doesn't want to fucking do. Um, one thing, and he sees The Rock, and The Rock looks like The Rock. He looks like a giant fucking muscled up dude. Still genuine fucking sweet guy. Little off. This was kind of a weird role for The Rock because he comes off very creepy and stalkerish, and and he's kind of effeminate, uh, fe feminine in his own way. Um, like he got, he's got a fucking unicorn shirt, <laughs> and he's got a fanny pack, and but he also gives off the impression that he very much would be the type of guy that was bullied a lot, and then turned his life around, and still is the sweet, sensitive guy on the inside, just happens to be a fucking muscled up spy. He's a fucking spy, and, and of course Kevin Hart gets dragged into it and, and becomes screaming the entire fucking movie. And they sort of solve a case together. Um, Jason Bateman has a small role as the grown-up bully, the ringleader who threw um, the rock out so the rock can be naked. Um, randomly, Aaron Paul is in this. And he even threw in a bitch in there. He's like, oh, really? Bitch? <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. There was actually some parts where I laughed out loud. And I don't really do that that often. Most of the time I go, <laughs> or a little chuckle. But this, I, I actually legit laughed out loud some parts. Like, at one point, The Rock... Um, spends the night at Kevin Hart's house and Kevin Hart lends him some pajamas and they just look ridiculously small and stretched out and tight fitted on, on the rock and he goes to lay down and he rolls over on the couch and the, the back seam just shreds <laughs> because he's so muscled up I, I laughed at that um, I laughed at Aaron Paul um, the plot kind of got ridiculous and but at the same time was very basic like, I knew going in what was going on. Uh, Kevin Hart was very annoying. His, his, his voice just... Just screeching. Um, and like I said, The Rock was slightly unnerving. He was kind of creepy and, and, and very obsessive. And they had this running, reoccurring theme where no matter how far away Kevin Hart would run away because he's trying to get out of the whole situation... The Rock would also just be behind him, like just, hey brother, how are you? Like, fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> and I, it just got, it actually got very creepy. Um, I will state the funniest part was not even in the movie. It was in the bloopers, and <laughs> they're talking about how in in high school in real life, The Rock has an original name. That sounded like a pun, like limp dick or broke dick or something like that. It was, it was, uh, oh, no, it was weird dick. And it was weird, weird dick. And they, the boys pronounce it weird dick. And so he changed his name from Robbie, Robert Weird Dick to Bob Stone. And I guess this was a deleted scene, but he's like, you know, he's like, Bob Stone's a fake name. I made that up. And he's like, yeah, that's just a stupid. You know, it's just a stupid name that, you know, stupid people make up. Like, you know, Mr. T and, you know, uh, 
and and he's like, you know, this, he names a couple other people. He's like, and The Rock. Those are all stupid, you know, dumb nicknames for stupid, dumb people. And they both fucking started cracking up. Like the, I was I was afraid The Rock was gonna punch him in the face, but he had the big, toothy grin, and he, I mean, that, that was the funniest part. And that's my point: is the funniest part is in the bloopers. In this, they kind of are pushing the the humor, and it gets a little, it gets kind of creepy. Bear in mind, on, uh, you know, this, this comedy makes perfect sense. You get the young, not, I mean, the short, kind of nerdy, screechy, I don't want to be here, kind of, kind of guy. And then you got The Rock as your action star, shooting motherfuckers, and at the same time being a fucking creep. That in itself was, was a really good idea. You know, it's the, uh, you know, the the badass and the dweeb fighting like every like every other Kevin Hart movie. Ride along, ride along too. This is just another ride along movie. Uh, it just happened to work a little less than I than I actually anticipated. I knew going into it, I probably was not going to like it that much. In which case, I'm going to give it two and a half stars. Um. Based on the fact that I did laugh out loud a couple times, you know the the acting wasn't f extreme. I mean, they were funny, but I ha I actually started drinking when I put this on, and it actually may have helped my my opinion of this. So I'm gonna end that one. I got another movie I wanna f fucking watch. It's gonna be Pet Cemetery. Gonna go completely the other fucking way. So. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I guess I needed to do a drunken rant for a while. Uh, what would you guys think? Did you like the video? Can't stop it! Stop scratching shit! Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let me know if you liked it. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. You guys don't, but I'll, I'm going to keep asking. And leave me alone with this fucking cup of mud. Salute.